Now this is the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, and I shall call it the Ballerina of Airplanes. Something that's very special about it is that its wings are insanely flexible. You know when they do the, one of those load wing flex tests when they build the airplanes and may think, oh wow, no, this angle is absolutely ridiculous. No way the wing would ever want to bend like this. But no, it's crazy how the 787 wing really changes its shape entirely depending on the current situation. This is the neutral wing position when the airplane is on the ground. It rises by 10 feet once the airplane is in the air and at maximum load, it can reach up to 26 feet and it doesn't care. It is truly very interesting how you can always tell that a 787 is flying just by the shape of the wing. In fact, you can see how heavy it is and you can see how fast it is. I mean, look at how the wings really, I mean, that's very shaky focusing on, let's say the right wing tip. Now the airplane touches down and you can see that that's like that that just that just fell down good now it is crazy this thing turns into a banana while flying but doesn't look banana-ish at all on the ground and this is very much unlike classic airliners this right here is the mcdonald douglas md80 short and stopple wing and there's not a big difference between this and this when the airplane is flying look it hasn't really changed shape whereas the 787 can go from this to this. Look at how the wing really flexes. And it's just ever so interesting when you look at this airplane with turbulence in it, because like the wing really is like almost turns into a bird. Now you may think, oh, Swiss, no, is this not dangerous to have such a flexible wing? Well, it's not. The good thing is that this wing is not really made out of metal like they used to make them. Rather, the wings are made out of carbon fiber and plastic, mostly plastic. The good thing about that is that you can flex it around and unlike metal, it will not have the metal problems of fatigue where it cracks and then the engine falls off, for example. So yeah, this is perfectly safe and this is actually wanted. The good thing is that when the wings look like this, so bent like that, they create less drag as well. So they're actually more aerodynamic in this position. These wings are brilliant. They're very long, high aspect ratio, creating a lot of lift. But also because the wing flexes so nicely, they're actually more structurally safer because now that it's all bent and it's all flexible, the wing roots aren't stressed as much. Perfect. So basically, the 787 takes off and self-optimizes the wing shape. Amazing stuff. But I wonder, you know, how about we make the wing a little bit more flexy in the flight sim? Here we have the wing flex settings of the 787. What's very important is the wing midpoint dihedral increase. And basically, it defines how flexible is this wing. For the 787, it's at 3. Whereas, for example, an old jet, MD-80 would have 0 0.6, around that. So it's crazy how different these wings are. How about we use the plastic? How about we use plastic in the wings that is even more flexible? How about we increase this number to like four, increase it a little bit? And this is starting to look a little bit funky. I can almost tell this plane is already breathing. Let's go full power. Yes. I mean, you know, this might as well just increase our flighting because like, I don't even know. Maybe it does. Let's see. Let's see. Let's just not use any flaps right now. Oh my God. We're 80 knots and this plane's already taking off and we've got a tail strike. Oh yeah, this is a highly motivated wing. And now that we are going to have flight and load is gonna be on the wing, yeah, I see tremendous. Actually, yeah, maybe a little bit. Yeah, definitely a little bit. Let's maybe uh, increase this. Let's go to six. Oh yeah, that or, oh wow, okay. Oh my God, oh! Uh, these wings are very, very flexible now. And, uh what I need to do is definitely turn up the wing flex damping. Basically what that does is that the absorbers here that dampen the entire wing is a bit stronger. Because otherwise we'll just oscillate like this and it's kind of like a, like a bird. It does look interesting though, but it crashes the plane. Yes, and this is a very wobbly wing. Yeah, let's see how it flies. It might fly well, you know. Going full power, put out the wobbly flaps. Yeah, and you can see literally how the wing tips rise like crazy. 
All right. Mm -hmm. uh, hmm. This one now completely flies normally. Doesn't even look that strange. Oh, come on now. Let's maybe go to five and a half. Let's do it. Oh yeah, this is interesting. Like, yeah, sure. Whenever I move the nose, the wingtips move, but this is fine. Let's we need it. Definitely. Let's go put it to seven and just hope this doesn't crash the flight sim. Oh yeah, there we go. We're finally doing something. This is the most flexible wing that you've ever seen, ladies and gentlemen. Now, is this a good thing? Maybe not. I wonder what this plane flies like now, genuinely. So this is all completely realistically simulated, but this plane flies pretty well. It sure is an interesting sight though out of the It sure is an interesting sight though out of the passenger window. This is the this is a very flexible wing. Wow, great. Uh <laughs> Nice. Welcome to New York. All is good. Please don't. I mean, we're flying really quickly. This is a normal departure out of New York with very wobbly wings. Let's go ahead and um, increase the wobbliation. How how high can we go? Uh, 999. Nine, nine. Great. And maybe uh, remove the wing flex damping so it'll actually, like, it'll go well. Okay, here we go. This is definitely not a normal 787. You know what? This plane does. I mean, it flies as wobbly as it looks. Um, let's maybe see if we can increase the wobbliation before we come in for a landing. Uh, with some winds. Let's maybe go ahead and increase the turbulence. Speed. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Prima ballerina. Good. All right. Okay. This is clearly what it's supposed to look like. Uh, oh, let's remove the winds again and come in for a landing. This is absolutely ridiculous. Why am I even doing that? Oh, yeah. And pulling up some G. <laughs> I don't miss that. This, we have like an insane amount of fluttering. And fluttering is very dangerous. We've reached like the point of proper oscillations now. And it's just absolutely ridiculous. So this will definitely be overdone. And will be probably kind of deadly. Because like at some point these wings just oscillate so much. That it's just not going to be healthy anymore. But like this is fine. Actually, this is okay. Let's go ahead and see if we can land this airplane now. And especially what that... That looks like when the wings bend. I wonder. That's something that's interesting that the wings now have bent the other way. So the airplane looks really, really sad now. So that's very interesting. All right, let's go ahead and land it now. All is well, and let's maybe make a bit of a harder touchdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a little bit. Hey, hey, hey! Don't do this. I think the flight sim might be broken from this. What the hell does it do? Does it just calculate so much craziness that it does this? Sorry, Boeing 787. This is not how it's supposed to go. It's just, it jumps around now. Great work. Whoa. Yeah. You know, the 787 wings are as flexible as they should be. And this is not supposed to happen. So everybody, thank you guys so, so much for watching this dancing aeroplane. And I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters, Guns Killer, R27, James Duram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.